Hmm. Enter. Oh. It's you. I'm so glad you decided to take me up on my offer. I'm sure that cell was less than satisfactory. My superiors questioned my choice to reverse your sentence, but I was within my rights to do so, and the death penalty seemed far too harsh. I would give you a tour of the Stag airship, but I think we both know you are as familiar with it as I. No, I do not intend to question how you gained the plans to my vessel. I believe, bar some extreme interrogation methods, you do not intend to cooperate with me just yet. As a matter of fact, I believe the only reason you have agreed to stay in my quarters is to gain intelligence on my operations and tactical plans for when your rebel friends come to rescue you. <laughs> or did you think yourself clever? In any case, feel free to read through any information you may find. I truly do not care. Do you know why I'm not worried about that? I'm sure you do. You sat in that cell for so long, trying to justify their lateness. Trying to rationalize how you could take my offer without viewing yourself a traitor. You do know, don't you? They're not coming for you. Hush, my brave rebel. True words hurt, do they not? Now, I would certainly like to change the topic to something less unsavory. Tell me, do you like my quarters? I am led to understand that you are also an avid reader, something that we share. I have a great number of books and I hand selected a few for you. You'll find them on your bed. To be truthful, I mostly selected personal favorites of mine. The ones translated into common, so you could enjoy them. If anything else should take your fancy, please be my guest. I was just reading on a particular tribe in the Northern Valley and their creation myth. Perhaps you would like something to drink. I assume the bread and water rations were hardly filling. I myself was about to enjoy a Zimfan red wine made by the Dwellen Valley tribes. <laughs> I see. Would it surprise you to learn that this was a gift? Peace offering, given willingly. Some value protection over, hmm, well, a band of freedom fighters plundering all they come across in the name of the great good. It can be a frightening prospect to these simple folk. Perhaps it's too early in the morning for Red. I can understand that. Maybe you require something lighter. <laughs> uh, 
Very well. You may continue to deny yourself any form of comfort. It makes scarce little difference to me. Suffering needlessly seems to be the want of your people. From my own personal studies of your history. It is such a shame a noble people like yours have been reduced to this. And yet, there's that passion in your eyes that I have read so often about. I thought it just a myth. May I show you something? I have had this piece in my collection for a long time. It is a replica of a sarok, a silk garb worn by the Alpis community, a human tribe more than 3,000 years ago. Beautiful, isn't it? I would very much like to see you wear it. Please. Indulge me, if you would. There's a changing screen behind you. I find your prison uniform unbecoming. So tell me, when was the last time you had a proper meal? Something warm and comforting, I mean. I ask, because I happen to know... The rebel cell you were a part of made great efforts to steal food and supplies from my garrison. I was thinking of ordering Vien Amas, a simple fish stew, but very filling. No, it's not exactly what you would call typical high elf cuisine more commonly eaten by the lower quarters. The servant folk. My father used to prepare it for me. Uh, let me see your outfit. My. A picture of loveliness. No less than I expected. No. I do not intend to parade you around. I was simply curious as to how it would suit you. How it would really look on one of your kind. Now please, make yourself comfortable. I have some work to attend to. But if you have any questions, you can ask me at any point. My room is to the left, and I had my personal study converted into your quarters. Excuse me? Ah, oh, ever the distrusting. I brought you here because I find you fascinating. As I've said, humans are a personal study of mine. And I wish to learn more from you. Officially, you are my servant. Did you really think you'd be allowed freedoms after the damage you attempted? No. You have been given to me, and you are under my watch. Does that bother you? Am I truly that reprehensible? Or maybe you're worried that this life will suit you better than your previous. Could that be it? Perhaps. Needless to say, your duties as servant will be minimal at best. I find that high of society is breeding a generation of men who can't put on their own clothes without help. 
I value independence. I think we may be alike in that way. I find that one may need to undergo several regimes of training, several different professions, before determining where one's strongest talents lie. If one relies on others, then they never learn their strengths. Now, I am sure I've used up enough of your precious time. Please, get yourself comfortable, and I will attend to you after my work is complete. Artwork in this video was by Lena. Thank you.